Hello everyone, back to you to today's uh, first video. It's going to be ECM Jazz 30 day look at for today's first video. Uh, not only for UK, but for the rest of Europe as well. So we're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks, taking us just into the beginning of uh, March. And we'll see what the ECM has to say about weather for the um, next month. We can't show mean silver pressure or 500 mm of our heights uh, with this, but you can get a rough idea of what mother is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation. Uh, anomalies, so that's what we're going to do for today's first video. Uh, coming up later on, we'll have the regular week 10 minute update with all of the usual features, and that'll be with you later on uh, this afternoon. We're at the Hungarian Met Office for this, so a big thank you to them uh, for supplying us with the chart. We begin with the uh, week one temperature anomaly, uh, week 15 for the year, of course. And uh, this is how it's looking. So uh, quite a warm week coming up, actually, across many parts of Europe. We've got uh, the warmest area here from around Poland down to uh, northern parts of Spain and also across England and Wales, where temperature anomalies are around three to six degrees above average. More widely uh, across many sort of northern eastern southern and western parts of europe uh, we have temperature anomalies of around one to three degrees above average so it's a very mild um or quite warm week coming up across most parts of europe scandinavia is a bit cooler especially norway and northern parts of uh, sweden and finland and then down in the southeastern corner of the mediterranean it is also colder there particularly through greece and turkey where the temperature anomaly and its coldest, uh, to, just to be south of the Black Sea, is going down to three to six degrees below average. Uh, Mediterranean is uh, generally milder than average, quite a uh, quite a warm scene across much of the Med, with temperatures between around one and uh, six degrees above average, except as I say, this southeastern corner from southern Italy. I mean, down into Greece and Turkey, uh, where it's colder. Precipitation on is actually quite dry uh, in the week ahead. It's taking us from the 6th to the 12th of April, of course. So uh, it's a bit wetter across uh, Spain and Portugal. Parts of Norway also coming out a little bit wetter than average. For the UK we're, and Ireland, we're nearer to average. Perhaps a little bit on the drier side, the more western, southwestern area, but it's around average precipitation there. But most other parts of Europe are actually driving average, and especially so in this southern, uh, eastern, and southeastern part of Europe. So kind of like the south of France, over towards um, the Balkans, in particular around the uh, Adriatic coast of the Balkans, very dry there. And then moving over towards the Black Sea, looks dry and average through those areas too. So it's a little bit more unsettled, I suppose, in this extreme western part of Europe, really. I mean, drier across uh, many other parts of Europe in the uh, week ahead. Moving through to week two, which is week 16 for the year, uh, the temperature normally is looking like this. It takes from the 13th to the 19th of April. Um, so Northern Europe is closer to average now. We've got cold and average across uh, western parts of Russia and just into the extreme east of Europe. Near normal uh, temperature anomalies across Scandinavia, away from the Baltic Sea anyway, where it's warmer than average. Ireland and UK, close to average temperature anomalies there, and a little bit cooler than average across some parts of southern Spain and Portugal. Elsewhere, though, from uh, France in the west, going over towards the Black Sea, well, we do see uh, above average uh, temperature anomalies by around 1 to 3 degrees above average. As far as the Mediterranean, Mediterranean is concerned, it is uh, average to a little bit below average Spain and Portugal. But anywhere east of that, uh, over to Italy, I mean, down to Greece, um, a little bit above average with the temperature anomaly there. Precipitation anomalies from the 13th to the 19th of April are uh, becoming wetter than average down across southern and southwestern parts of Europe. So it looks more unsettled through the south of France, particularly going down towards the Côte d'Azur, and then into uh, Spain and Portugal, and then through the central bowl of the Med, from uh, the holiday islands of uh, Mallorca, Menorca and Ibiza, over towards Corsica and Sardinia and Malta. It is generally a little bit on the wetter, an average side through there. Bit wet and average across the northern parts of Norway as well. Elsewhere, uh, dry and average, just looking especially dry around the UK and Ireland actually. So uh, around this middle part of April, it looks like high pressure is becoming established towards the northwest of Europe. But many areas actually a little bit 
on the driving average side uh, this week, especially in these eastern parts of, uh, of Europe. So relatively dry away from those more unsettled areas. Week 3 temperature anomaly, uh, week 17th of the year. It's taking us from the 20th to the 26th of April. Overall, quite a warm week coming up again, especially for many uh, northern parts of Europe. So from Scandinavia down towards the Alps, we're talking about uh, temperature anomalies of around 1 to 3 degrees above average. Really quite a warmish uh, week coming up. A little bit above average for Ireland, UK and western parts of France. Just a little bit above average there. And then through the Mediterranean, again, we have sort of uh, near normal temperature anomalies or maybe no signal to one or two areas slightly below average. So, for example, we've got the Costas here across the eastern parts of Spain, a bit colder than average. Uh, Greece also uh, a little bit colder than average there. But elsewhere, uh, across many parts of Europe, it is a relatively uh, warm week coming up again. Uh, the far southeast of Europe um, is close to average or has no signal. Precipitation on is relatively dry uh, once more. So, uh, yes, we've got Mediterranean here standing out as being a little bit uh, above average with, with precipitation, particularly from uh, eastern parts of Spain over towards Greece. All of these uh, holiday areas in the central bowl of the Med are, uh, are, are above average with their precipitation as well. Only slightly so, but yes, it could be quite unsettled through the Mediterranean. Further north, though, across many parts of Europe, we've come north of the Alps and Pyrenees. Overall, it is a little bit drier than average until we get up towards the far north of uh, Norway and Scandinavia, where it could be a bit more unsettled there. But uh, generally, high pressure looks like it's still relatively dominant across many parts of Europe uh, as we come into the last full week of April. And then finally, we've got week four, week 18 for the year. Week four for the forecast period takes us from the 27th of April to the uh, 3rd of May. And this one looks uh, above average across the far north of Europe with a temperature anomaly. So these extreme northern parts of Europe, yes, the temperature anomaly there is around 1 to 3 degrees above average. Central Bowl of the Mediterranean, again, a little bit milder than average there. Otherwise, there's a lot of white going on now. The signal is weakening. So I would revert it to average, or more likely, we've probably got no signal. It looks colder than average in the southeastern corner of the Med and going over towards the Middle East. Um, and some of these eastern parts of Europe are a little bit uh, warmer than average up there. But overall, it does look as though uh, the signals are weakening in week four, as they usually do. And again, we see the same for precipitation. When we get to week four, we very often have lots of white, lots of no signal going on. The southeastern part of the red looks a bit more unsettled. Some eastern parts of Europe looks a little bit drier. Maybe hinting at being a little bit wetter in the extreme northwest of Europe into the North Atlantic. Uh, as you come to the end of April and the beginning of May. But you have gathered um, very, very weak signals there with all of that uh, white, uh, which is either, as I say, average or no signal. But by the time you get through to week four, I think it tends to be no signal as the model can't um, sort of see that far out. So certainly up to the second half of April, it looks like we have quite a lot of dry and uh, reasonably warm weather across many parts of uh, Europe. There will be week-to-week -week changes, yes, um, but it's not a bad outlook at all. It does look as though, uh, from a weather perspective, uh, things aren't going to be too bad in the next uh, two to three weeks. Probably by the time you get through to week four, the signals are too weak to draw any uh, particular conclusions. But um, a lot of dry and relatively anticyclonic and quite warm weather is on offer in, uh, in uh, the next two to three weeks if the ECM is right. There will be variations, I say, week to week. And maybe the hints are there, but Southern Europe is actually a little bit more unsettled. So um, there will be some heavy showers or thunderstorms down in the Mediterranean, perhaps, at times. Uh, right, so that's it for this week's ECM Death 38. Okay, remember, it's just a snapshot of what model is showing. It could all look very different. Uh, next week, any forecast beyond five, seven days is uh, fraught with uh, danger and it comes with health warnings. So we'll be back later on with your regular week's 10 day video update and that will have all of the usual features come back for that then. Uh, but for the 70 uh, 30 day look care, that's all for now and thanks for watching.